when you start realizing the keys to these matrices and how they work and how like if something goes on like you're about to get you know a job like I, somebody asked me this question the other day I really and I answered it for them I wanted to share it but I just didn't have time yet but it was about they asked me why when they want to go when they're about to get something that's going to change things for them like let's say a new car a new job or you know this business idea this loan etc then it ends up not going through and time and time and time again it doesn't go through and I explained to the person because there's different mechanics to those kind of things. One, that first you should always know that there's a diametrics or opposing field to anything that you're trying to do. That's just how the matrix works. With every action, there must be a reaction. So you want to not let that diametric force know what you're attempting to do. And you often do that by one, overexcitement. When you're overexcited, you send these frequencies out that now must be responded to. So then the sentinel actually sends back the corresponding opposite force to whatever you're excited about. So the easiest way to get excited and to not be detected is to actually do it all within and have that calm, all-knowing peace and let it fuel that, especially before it's about to happen. And then the second thing is, is that because I call that when you get excited and everything about that, I call that eating the energy before it even arrives. It's like, you know, you just, oh, my goodness, girl, I'm going to get this car and we're going to be out. We're going to be having fun. Finally, I'm glad that my credit, I don't know how they approved it, but they did. They called me yesterday. And then, you know, two weeks later, when you're like, hey, what happened to the car? They said, girl, did you know that they canceled my credit card? And then they found out and then they're wondering, well, why that happened? Because you ate it already. And on top of that, here's another thing. Now, if you didn't set off the alarm, sometimes, and actually more often than not, if you tell someone that has nothing to do with it, if you tell them about it, then their energies, their hypnosis egregors and all the stuff that people have, the baggage, that's, where the real ba that's what the real baggage is, it detects it. And it's like, sending its own force because in many times when you tell somebody that you're going to another level don't be surprised if they're not happy about you going to that other level deep down but on the outside they're like oh my goodness I'm so glad and then like, I can't believe I'm doing way more than her I look better than her why is she with him and you know or the, or, or the guys you know I don't you know I don't even understand they should have picked me for the draft I mean I'm running faster I'm and it's so you would be surprised, but then when the guy comes up, say, Oh man, I made the team. Yo, man, bro, you did it. And he's like, Man, how? So, this is what's going on until humans figure out themselves and what they're doing and how they're holding themselves into these prisons and prisms. Then, you know, this will continue to go on. It's basic. You shouldn't, if you're catching feelings about it, <laughs> like, right? And if you feel like you're upset about that, then that's because you bought into the whole thing. And that's what I mean, you know, you, when you buy into it, then your currency is out there, and then now you feel like you need to get paid. And then what happens if you don't have any currency to draw from anyway, then now it's going to be on credit. So the thing is, is what I'm saying is, with mechanics like that, about getting things accomplished, you have to know this kind of stuff if you're expected to make major things happen. Because when something major is about to happen, you just... Except for people who are directly involved in it until it manifests because there's diametric forces that want to prevent that from happening because they are designed to just be the opposing force to whatever you're trying to do so you can make your yoke easy and your burden light by not doing that this also is basically the same concept of lucid dreaming when you're in the lucid dream then you're literally doing this technique of where you don't want to grab too much onto the dream because then you'll wake up and then on top of that, you don't want to fall too, you know, get too relaxed because then you'll sink into the dream. You'll, you'll fall asleep. So you're kind of like riding this wave. And it's the same thing in life. In your experiences, you've got to just ride the wave. Because other than that, then you put too much energy into the illusion. And then when it comes time for you to change it, because it's still a morphogenic field, most people don't understand the keys to manifestation, but this is one of the major ones. When it comes time for you to change it, then you can't change it. 